Hello, this is Annika Lidne from Le Web Special for the Swedish Startup Sessions. I'm here with Robert Ventrup and Patrick El Sheikh from uh, the Swedish Trade Council, and we're going to talk about how uh, the Swedish Trade Council can support new startups from Sweden and also how they can support big international companies that are looking for new innovations and new talent. Stay tuned. This is Sweden. You ain't packing gas, you ain't hard, you ain't living in the garage. This is Sweden. Fly overseas, clear use a G, please believe. This ain't Sweden. Witness a massacre in Middle East to Africa. Bet you'll be thanking God. This is Sweden. I fly into all, you ain't struggling at all. This is Sweden. You ain't packing gas, you ain't hard, you ain't living in the garage. This is Sweden. Fly overseas, claim use a G, please believe the same Sweden. Witness a massacre in Middle East to Africa, bet you be thanking God. Hello, welcome back to the Swedish Startup Special on at Le Web, and I'm here with Robert Ventrup and Patrick El Sheikh from the Swedish Trade Council. And I would like to know why are 20, 30 Swedish companies really at Le Web? Well, they're here to uh, meet new international players and new companies, try to find investors. And uh, we see a huge interest from the Swedish startup right now, and they are getting a lot of attention on the international market. So I think that's why we're here. And the Swedish Trade Council, what is your uh, mission, really? We, we help Swedish companies to grow internationally. So we, uh, we help Swedish companies to make business, to find customers and partners. And uh, this is a good opportunity to be here. And uh, in a few days, during a few days, meet a lot of international players, telecom operators, and so on. So. And Patrick, how, how, what, what do, would you say that the reaction have been so far? Excellent. I mean, first of all, it is it's apparent that there are so many new, interesting, innovative companies in Sweden that are ready to come out and meet the international markets. Uh, so, and we can see that all the people that have been here uh, come and visit our stand here. They're really impressed with what we have to offer and what we can show them. So I'm proud to be Swede today. <laughs> And what, what kind of, of uh, people have been here the most, you would say, uh, of I think level? It's, I think it's a mixture, basically. Uh, we have uh, met uh, some big telecom operators, uh, Orange, Deutsche Telekom, but also uh, French and uh, international investment funds. Uh, so it's a mix. Also, uh, also other kinds of partners uh, it could be uh, associations and so on that want to... Uh, find opportunities to collaborate. If you both look at, at this web space compared to other industries you work with, what, what would you say is, is that, do we have more to offer or less in, in the, the web or internet area? Or I think, I think uh, we have a lot to offer. Swedish engineers, and they are very, very competitive. And we have kind of a Swedish mindset to f try to find uh, solutions to problems. <laughs> And this is, I think, very advanced. I think we can do better on the sales side. Mm -hmm. We're a bit modest, and uh, so this is also what we're pushing, really, to make the companies take a step forward and present themselves and so on. I think also uh, what we can add, what I would like to add to that is that also that Swedish companies are really open-minded, and they find inspiration all around themselves. So even though uh, they might have a background of engineers, they are really just as much artists and creators. And I think this is really what we can see among these companies that are here. They're, they're really merging different ideas and different technologies uh, together and present them with new interesting business models. Uh, this is what is our strength, uh, I would say. And, and if I could add to that, I also think it's kind of unique in this uh, sector that is such a collaborative atmosphere. The companies help each other, they want to multiply contacts, they share leads and customers and so on. And this is unique, as they would say. And you also, when we spoke before uh, we started recording, that you have got the, the same reaction from your counterparts yes, in other countries. Yes, yes. It's also, I think, that the fact that the official Sweden takes such a uh, proactive role in this kind of event is kind of unique. 
and uh, of course we're happy about uh, these kinds of reactions. And, and last night we had a pitching session at the Swedish Embassy. Yes. And I actually got a reaction from uh, the, the the Belgian organizer of the Belgian startup community that next year I want my own embassy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, good luck with that. <laughs> but what you can see is that, just as Robert mentioned, that there, these companies have received a lot of attention also from uh, the Swedish government. Mm -hmm. And uh, they are really keen on developing these new innovative companies mm -hmm. and try to help them come out internationally. And what we can see is that the difference between these companies and other companies we work with in other sectors is that they become international from day one. Yeah. So they are born in an international you know, uh, environment. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is something also that is important for us working with the Swedish Trade Council to, to learn and to adapt and see that we, cannot, we have to think new also when it comes to uh, assisting these companies. Mm -hmm. So, you mean that they, they usually, compared to the other kind of companies you work in other sectors, they are smaller, they are much newer? They're smaller, newer. but they, they might not you know, approach one country at no. a time, but they might approach several markets at once. Yeah. And this also means that we also have to look into different ways and different services into, to help them properly. Um, uh, obviously, it's a different thing to uh, sell your products over internet or, uh, you know, uh, shipping, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, ball bearings uh, across the oceans. Mm. So obviously, this is this is a different way of approaching new markets. And I think speed is a key word here because they take a decision to go internationalized and they they go abroad, as you say, and they're on the market after a few weeks. They can be on a few weeks, and uh, so and they really the speed in this industry is so high so they really have to be on their toes and to uh, really uh, get first mover advantage and so uh, so it's very important to that we are also we can react on that and, and uh, help them to uh, internationalize and, and what do you see because I mean the, I, I would say the problem with the entire sort of internet mobile industry is that there's a lot of companies yes. but compared uh, they don't offer a lot of jobs, so we need a lot of these small companies. Would you agree to that analysis? Yes, uh, but as you said, you know, if they can be self-employed and then of course they create other you know, services around themselves uh, that create job opportunities. So we, we look at this today and see that, okay, perhaps we will not create, you know, tons of new Ericsson's employing, you know, tens of thousands of people, but that's not necessarily no. what we're looking forward to. People are getting closer um, uh, to um, the, um, how shall I say, pe people are getting closer between consuming and producing at mm -hmm. once. So this creates a, a new business environment and uh, actually a new society as, as a whole. And, and in terms of employment, uh, there was a report uh, just a few weeks ago from OECD saying that uh, internet jobs, there were 14 million new inter job, internet jobs in globally in 2011. Mm -hmm. So I think there's a lot of job creation going on, even though it's more, many small companies. Mm -hmm. There would be concentration of these companies, uh, this would come, but uh, I think definitely there were, it's a lot of job creation in the sector. And from a European outlook, how would you rate Sweden uh, as uh, emerging? We have to say that Sweden is the best. That's our, <laughs> that's our job. <laughs> no, but I think uh, objectively Sweden is very competitive. Yeah. I think Finland, Israel, uh, I mean, they're also really good, but Sweden is doing re very well. I, I couldn't agree more with that. Obviously, there have been a lot of new uh, rankings, and Sweden tends to top most of these rankings. So uh, we should be uh, really happy and really proud and uh, try to. Uh, continue doing our best in order to help these companies in, in t you know, taking advantage and capitalize on, on, these, um, on this market as much as possible. So how, how do we go forward from here? We hope to be here next year with a double, double number of companies, so uh, we're going to try to you know, spread the word. Uh, the web is a very good event, there's other events as well, so we would just try to work with this uh, industry and uh, promote it. So. Yeah, what I'd like to add to that is that, first of all, from the Swedish Trade Council's side, what we will do next year is to target more the mobile op operators as well. Because mm -hmm. obviously what we see is that many of these companies 
have mobile operators as important stakeholders, whether as clients or as uh, you know, as a channel to reach new uh, uh, new customers. And uh, what we did during this year is to map out the biggest uh, operators and we decided to uh, focus on four or five of these uh, operators for next year. And we will try to work out long-term relations with them, show, showcasing Swedish companies and see how we can help them. So this is an important project that we uh, undertake during 2013, on top of attending you know, important exhibitions like this one and actually also working closer with the small companies back in Sweden, understanding them better, try to uh, see how we can uh, you know, help them and what kind of services do they really require from us. So this is what we need to do as well, you know, getting better in understanding their business models and how to assist them internationally. That sounds great. Thank you so much, Robert Ventrup and Patrick Elsheik. And this is out from Leweb.